Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome. Thank you for joining me and being with me here today. So you can consider these messages from the universe, from your guides, maybe from your subconscious. There may be some messages here that resonate um, with your current situation or anything that's happening around your life right now. Um, now this can be for any sign watching from Aries to Pisces. It's going to be the same for all signs. Um, the reason being it's just easier to find um, uh, in, in the search results on the YouTube platform. So um, they're going to be all the same for every sign. So uh, consider it a message that you were led to. Uh, or that you were drawn to um, for a reason. So thank you for joining me. I'll be using the Shadowscapes Tarot and we'll see what comes up for those watching. What is the message that you need to hear or messages? We'll see if we can extract a few messages from a uh, situation right now. Okay, it can be in regards to anything. Um, we'll see what comes up. Okay, you guys can't see those, so I'm going to put them up a little bit more, but I'll play around with the cards as we go. Okay, so there's a lot happening. There's a lot of business. There's a lot of activity in these cards that have come out. Um, in particular, I'm very drawn to these two major arcana cards that we have here. Out of all the cards, these two major arcana cards symbolize the most change, the most transformation, and the most biggest impact. Um, I feel with the Tower and the Empress, there's something that you've idolized or you've put on a pedestal, you've put on a platform just like the Empress is. And this is being deconstructed or this is being dis uh, dismantled. Um, so it can be some sort of break up, break down, dysfunction or dismantling of something important in your life right now. Whatever it is that you've held as very high importance. Now the Empress often represents things like family. So it can be a family breakdown. It can be a relationship breakdown. It can be an attraction. There is some devastating impact or you know, you might take some big hits or you might be taking some big hits lately. Um, and it's a lot to deal with. Um, it's a very powerful surge. We've got the moths that go to the flame. The butterflies go to the sun, which is the moth to the flame. It's almost like you're getting involved in something and you can't even hold yourself back. It's very powerful and it's almost a force bigger than you. So for a lot of us, this is going to apply to a lot of different areas in our lives. Um, and I feel like this can be around the family or it can be around the family home or it can be even your relationship with yourself. There is some sort of destructive pattern that needs to be fixed and needs to be altered right now. I do want to say that love is coming up with, because we've got the King of Cups reversed and the Page of Cups both reversed. Both represent the sign of Pisces in this deck. Um, so if you're dealing with the Pisces, this person is coming up. Um, but Pisces is a very highly emotional energy. Now, because these cards are reversed, it indicates emotionally you're fi not feeling fulfilled in an area of your life. As a result, it's affecting different areas, okay? Your work, your relationships with your loved ones, your your husband, your wife, your partner, um, the people that you're working with creatively, professionally, platonically. All these different areas are being affected in a very profound way. And I want to say there's something that you need to get to the root of, emotionally speaking, before you can find answers and before you can address what it is that's going on here. You're very sensitive um, to a lot of things happening right now. But this is also your intuition is being thrown off. So you're normally clued on about how a person is feeling, what you're feeling. But in this particular instance, whatever it is that that tower is bringing you, it's almost like you can't figure it out. It's like a puzzle, an enigma of some kind. And you may find yourself asking yourself, why am I feeling this way? Why am I going through this? Why am I not attuned to what's going on here? And there may be a message here that some sort of self-guided meditation is needed, that you might need to sit down and have a conversation with yourself, maybe someone professional, maybe someone you trust and love. Um, and this is about needing to reconnect with your subconscious because there's been some sort of distraction or dysfunction that hasn't allowed you to do that. So if you're watching this or whoever's watching this, I feel like there is some something here that needs to be addressed because both these powerful love cards have come up reversed. So we do have the issue. We 
we know what's going on emotionally. Let's see the other cards that sit here, okay? Two of Pentacles, King of Wands. You're not taking the action or the activity is not... Um, there's not much activity that's being made here. Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords. There's people around you that are trying to help or there's people that you normally go to for help or, or people that you normally talk to, but for some reason you're blocking off these opportunities. And the more you succumb into yourself, so the more you are the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the more you're rejecting the help around you, the deeper you're getting involved in something here or the deeper you're getting, you know, these reversals. So I would say if help is available, take it. Um, because it's there for a reason and it could give you a lot of blessings that you're just not seeing right now. Whatever it is, whatever sort of support you're needing, maybe it's from your person, you know, maybe you need to sit them down and tell them what you're feeling and you're in a bit of a funk and, you know, you're not feeling like yourself, you know, maybe they need to be there to listen to this. Um, but I feel like with the Two of Swords, I get denial when I see the Two of Swords. It's almost like you're denying denying what's going on denying that oh no this isn't that big it's going to go away or you know there's some sort of denial here that needs to be addressed because it's, it's powerful and love whether it be self-love or love for another person hangs in the balance here we've got the moon which is cancer energy cancer is also a water sign so we've got a lot of water energy that's coming up so far in the reading um, the moon is a highly emotional energy it's intuition it's the subconscious it's also mystery so there's some sort of mystery happening around you that you need to solve whether there is it internally or whether it's on the outside so we have this some sort of puzzle some sort of enigma that needs to be solved um because you're not being your normal functional self two of pentacles is reversed you're not functioning 100 percent. you know um maybe you're not eating well or uh, maybe you haven't been doing the things you normally love to do. Uh, maybe you've been declining opportunities uh, or people or advances or invitations. But, you know, it could be even idle time. He looks so busy as an acrobat. He is busy juggling. He's focused. He's alert. He's engaged. When it's reversed, he's not feeling these things. So I'm seeing that your this lack of engagement or activity or this idle time is potentially leading you to overthink. It's leading you to not take action. Uh, it may be leading you to these sorts of things. And you know, maybe this is a time, this is a week where you sort of delve a little bit deeper as you should, rightfully so, um, to sort of gauge where it is you can sort of heal, you know, the subconscious, the mind, and all those sorts of things. Um, because it is possible and I feel like there's a lot of uh, spiritual work that needs to happen for those that are watching this message this week. So um, looking within, looking deeper, delving deeper, I think is a major theme for a lot of people watching. And, you know, to see this come up, you know, King of Wands is Leo reversed in this. So we've got Leo reversed energy. Um, possessiveness is coming up. Pride, the ego, um, Maybe this is, uh, there's a need to detach from egotistic thoughts, wants, desires, and come back into humbleness in some sort of situation. Um, and that humility will take you further where you need to go. Um, because it's not the best side. When it's reversed, it's not the best qualities of these signs. And, you know, the, the not the best qualities can, can evoke some powerful emotional bitterness, depression, anxiety, you know, king of wands reversed. What is this going on? This is uh, ego reversed. You know, maybe this is detaching from envious thoughts or detaching from trying to control a situation or trying to control your mate or trying to control something here. And it's coming into a more peaceful, balanced energy. Um, so for a lot of you, maybe this is just a reminder Maybe this is just a gentle reminder. For some of you watching, it may be that you know someone who's going through these things and needs to hear these messages. And you might be that delightful messenger to pass it on to them. Uh, for others watching, it could be your person. It could be your mother. It could be your father, your sibling, your lover. Um, but know that there may be someone here around you that's feeling these things and is needing you more than they're letting on. So, you know, not to be too pushy, um, but sometimes these are gentle reminders or just gentle acknowledgements of, of things that we encounter as humans and as spiritual beings. So um, 
quite a spiritual message, but it is quite lovely. And I do hope it's helped for those that have tuned in. Uh, I really do appreciate you watching. So thanks again, everyone. Uh, and as mentioned, it is going to be the same for each sign watching. It's a collective message, um, bonus message for this week. So uh, thank you again, everyone. And until next time, bye for now.